Good evening, everyone. Welcome to episode number、uh, three <laughs> of Money Does Stuff. And let's just start what I'm going to talk about today. So let's be a kick as a Santa planner. That's the plan. <laughs> And I'm going to show you a bit how Asana is set up in general,、um, how you can communicate within Asana, and how integrations work.、Um, but it will be a short and quick thing, I assume. So let's just jump right in. And I have already signed up、um, with my new email address. So this is actually what、um, Asana will present itself、um, to you when you. Just signed up for an account.、Um, compared to Trello, there are a few different, few things, just a tiny bit different. So,、um, in, in case you remember,、um, Trello has、uh, boards and lists and cards,、um, but in Asana, it's called a little bit different. So, for example, you work with different workspaces here. So that's why I created this workspace that's called Moni Das Stuff. That's the name I gave it.、Um, You can add、um, more workspaces in case you want to, or in case you work with different people or share clients. And it's possible that you have like more than one、uh, workspace right here.、Um, and then the uh, uh, below that,、uh, you have different kinds of projects. So. Once when you sign up for Asana,、um, it will make you create the first project already. So that's what I did here. I called it Monida Stuff Livestream Episode Three,、um, and you can choose what it's going to look like or what it should look like. You know that in Trello you have the different boards and the different lists with all the cards,、um, and in Asana the actual thing is.、Um, Um, set up like this, like you can add different sorts of tasks. For example, you can have this one task that is called、um, "Prepare OBS to Look Pretty." You can compare this a tiny bit to, I think, it is sort of like the cards in Trello. So you can have like different tasks that you have to actually、um, do, and that you can also、um, tick off once they're done. But for example, this um, um, task that I just created, you can also like add a description there. So、uh, change the logo and、um, add other content, and you can also just as in Trello, you can create、um, here. They're called subtasks. Or more checklists within one task. So you have to, for example, I have to open Photoshop,、um, think of the title, change the title, and you can add different subtasks to this one task that you just created. There, you can also assign this to someone. I added my other account into that into that so that I can at least show you a few other things here.、Um, so I can sign this card to、um, myself as the other person, and I can I can give it a due date. So please have it done by today. <laughs>、um, And I can add a due time. So, for example, I want it to be done at six, which already happened. <laughs> Then let's make it seven. And you can add done. So it's you. You can see that it's due today at seven o'clock. Then you can also like this stuff. Oh, you see, there is a tiny small thumbs up. We always all, every one of us likes a good thumbs up from time to time. <laughs>、um, then. Uh, you can also, like in Trello, attach different、um, files here directly from Google Drive or from Dropbox or from your computer.、Mm, let me just add something real quick. It's good that you actually can't see what a huge mess I have here. <laughs> so. Let's use 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 Yoshi. So I just add Yoshi here, and you can see that、um, yay! There is a small、um, uh, preview of my file, and I can actually write a comment here, or I can say、um, Moni 
um, please make sure that you feed Yoshi in time so that he won't starve. Um, thank you. <laughs> and you can comment on that. So um, there's also communication going on just as you would um, in um, Trello, for example. Here you can also change the name. We will try that out now. Oh, and you can see because I changed the name, I created a, another project right here because now it's on the test one. <laughs> um, that's as easy as it goes. If you want to create something different and another um, and another project, you can just change the name right here and it suddenly creates one. So I will remove that now and I will add it back to the regular one. Uh, and you can see it's already back in the tasks list. Um, another different thing is in Asana that you can actually uh, have conversations with conversations with people to the project. So you can call it help. Um, my tech isn't working. And then you can call all the other people's in, people in. No way. What am I going to do without you? Blah. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Anyway, you can post that. Um, and people that are also in that project will be able to see this conversation going on here. And you can, if there are more people, um, then you can add them as followers. But the two of us, uh, me and my al alter ego <laughs> is enough for that. So yeah, you can like have conversations um, to a project, um, not only concerning the task, because you can comment below a task anytime, but you can also have a general conversation about things that are going on um, right here. And um, oh, you can see you can print this, which could be really handy, but not very pretty. Oh, you can see that, sorry. Um, but you could print it or you can delete the conversation. Then there is also this calendar. So if there are due dates like there is now, you can see that there is this um, task due at the moment. Um, and you can actually have a look at that um, in the calendar. So if you have a lot of tasks with a lot of due dates, um, you will see all of the due dates and everything right here in the calendar. Also, which I find actually really nice, is that you have this progress thing going on. So at the, first of all, you can say, um, how is this project in general? Like, it, when is this, this project due in general? So let's say it's due on the 24th because it's Christmas and that's important. And you can say, oh, look at that. We are right on time. So everything is amazing. Um, and that's the status. So yay, uh, status update on the 9th. We're full right on time. Everything is awesome and everything is going to work. Um, that's pretty neat actually. I really like that. Um, and you can see all the tasks that are there and you can see the progress. Like for example, I'm going back to my tasks now or to the tasks in, uh, in the Monida stuff thing and I will take that off. Oh, you see unicorn. Sorry, I'm easily excited. <laughs> And you go back to progress. <laughs> and you can see, ooh, there's one remaining. Why is there one remaining? Let me reload. Shouldn't be, actually. Reloading, reloading. Ah, oh, you see, one task complete, no remaining. And it will show you to pro the progress of this, uh, of all the tasks you have going on for that project, which is actually really cool. Um, there you can see now that my tasks are gone because I just um, had all the incomplete tasks um, visible. And if I want to see all the tasks, I can go right back there and I can uncheck them again. So this is actually not done yet. So that's why um, um, I uncheck the checkbox. Also, the files that are uploaded are all gathered here too. So if you have a lot of different tasks going on, um, they're all the files you uploaded are um, 
available or visible right here at the file section. Um, yeah, so you saw it, probably saw that there um, in the progress bar, there is the option to add to dashboard. And I'm going to do that now because you can um, create a dashboard um, where you can add different things and different tools for um, people to see and for you to um, get a, a better view of your project. Um, for example, I can add this project here to my general dashboard. So I will add this one and add to my dashboard. And now it's not, oh, all the hearts. Thanks for the hearts. Mm. Oh. I almost accidentally closed my window. You, hi Sandra. <laughs> I hope you're doing well in the UK. <laughs> Um, anyway, never click type command in Q because otherwise it will close your window. <laughs> but I didn't do it, so it fortunately it asked me, otherwise I would have been gone probably, but who cares. So I'm back right here, so I can add the project name and add to my dashboard. Probably because I already added it, so I can add the other one. Add the test, add to my dashboard. Yes, could have been smarter about this. So you can see there is all, you could have all your projects that are going on and you could see, is everything all right? And how is the general, um, how is the general progress of this? <laughs> um, sorry if you hear that thing that's Yoshi going crazy in his igloo for a second. Yeah, because he's a crazy dog, a crazy dog for a crazy person. Anyway, um, so that's in general how um, Asana is set up right here. So I will just also quickly show you what it looks like if you create a project because you could also have it organized like Trello actually is organized because um, you can also have a boards view um, within Asana. So let's just um, try the board view. And you can set it to public or you can just have it private to yourself um, or it's public in general in the Monida stuff workspace. So I'm just, you can add a description right here. This is just a test area. And just as in Trello, there are different kinds of templates that you can use, but not a lot because there are most of them are premium. Um, um, and I will try a Nasana onboarding board right after that, after I will um, create that board for you right now. So let's choose the board view because we already saw the list view and create that board. And as you can see, um, you can start adding columns and columns. It's like the lists in Nasana. So <laughs> yeah, sometimes we really could go back to the uh, usual paper. Um, but I really do, especially when you're traveling and you do, you do travel a lot. So um, sometimes it's really handy to have it all on your mobile because everything like Trello, for example, and Asana both have separate apps you can use on, on your mobile. So even though you um, might not be really f a fan of working on your mobile phone, it's still possible to um, at least see what's going on there and, and have a, an overview. So because how often do we really um, leave our mobiles at home like never probably so anyway uh, back to the board so we can create a column now so this is my test column and like i can create the second one um tomorrow is sunday Woohoo! and we can start adding um the how do they call it tasks, goals, anything else I'd like to track. So let's say test column, this is a test thingy. And if you double click on it, it almost looks like um, it looks with, uh, with Trello. So that's practically what the task before looked like. You can assign it again. Um, you can give it a due date again. Okay, let's give it a 24th because we celebrate Christmas on the 24th. Just saying, <laughs> but that's why. Um, 
whatever. Oh, you, you see, you can copy the task URL. So if you um, want to hand it over to someone, let's just try that out here. You can just copy the task URL and give it to people and they can have a look at that as long as they're probably um, part of this um, workspace. Well, anyway, so you can add the description, description, like just like uh, we're used to, and you can add like the subtask, tasks, I am a subtask, um, I am another subtask, subtasks, subtask, <laughs> sorry, I'm really too um, easily entertained. Whatever. So once you're done here, you can um, just uh, click anywhere. Oh, you can see. This is a test thingy. Let's go back to that. What was that? There are. You can add notes and comments to all your subtasks. Have a look at that. Let me try this out. Yoshi is now quiet. That's nice. And then, well, you cannot really. See. You can only see that there is a comment because there is this small speech, bu small speech bubble here. That's hard to pronounce. Um, I do use Trello. I just sometimes use Asana because other some clients already work with Asana, and that's why um, I sometimes do use it or have to use it. But for my own stuff, I have all those all the things going on in Trello actually. But yeah, um, sometimes you just have to accustom to the client's needs and the people's needs. So that's why I also sometimes have to um, use Asana. Um, yeah, so that's how the board view would look like, and you can see it's almost there. Are also, the conversations and the calendar thing going on and the progress, which should be yeah it's a bit slow loading time is slow today um and also the files but i didn't upload anything to these projects right here um there are some things that are already integrated like you saw with the google um drive um extension app thing <laughs> Um, so you could, can already like upload stuff from Google Drive or from Dropbox, um, but there are when you go to asana.com slash forward slash apps, um, then you can see a lot of different things that you can also um, connect with each other or integrate with each other. So you could also integrate Slack and Trello if you um, want to, but you most of the time you do it through the other application. So you're in Slack and you tell Slack, oh, I want to connect to Asana. And then that's how, how you start the process or Instagram, because you probably know the Gantz chart charts, <laughs> like this project management charts where you have um, these lines and due dates. Let me give a sec. Give, let me show you what a Gantt chart looks like. Gantt chart. Yeah. <clears throat> So this is what Gantt charts look like. So that's also an extension that you, or an integration that you can use to create these charts in Asana if you like them. Um, and you can add, there are different other things, a few other things that you can do. For example, you can add more members to your board in the free version. It's like uh, up to 15, which is still kind of nice. Um, the time tracking is working here with Toggle because I have the Chrome extension, so that's why I just have to um, start timer here and it starts to um, to toggle the time. But I will do stop that now because I don't have to toggle it for anyone. Um, and I right back to there. If you are, you can convert um, your Asana board to an organization to be an organization. Then you can also um, create teams but for that you have to add the an actual um, domain um, 
that you would email with. So I could connect with, with my um, Money Rocks Your Socks domain, but I haven't done that because uh, I don't have a big team. <laughs> I just have a few people that I work with and that, yeah. Uh, so I don't, I, I haven't switched to an organization yet, but if you're bigger and you have a lot of um, stuff going on and a lot of teams going on, then it might be really um, a smart thing to do. Also here you can see the reports, you can see all the tasks that I've created. Oh yeah, there's a lot of thing going, a lot of stuff going on. And just like in Trello, you can, um, you can star that thing so I have all the favorites right at the top right here. Um, another thing is, are, is the inbox notification and email notifications. So you can, depending on what is going on, there is a lot of stuff that you can actually do. And one thing that Jana asked me is um, how to attach emails to tasks. So there are a few different ways that you can actually do that. You can simply create tasks by sending an email um, from the email address that you signed up for, uh, that you signed up with for Asana. You can send an email from that email address. Nope. Now it's opening my email program, but I don't want that. So it's x at mail.asana.com. And you can just email to that email address and it will automatically create uh, a task for you. And I'm going to show that to you right now. So when I log into my Gmail, why is everything so slow today? Because probably because I'm uploading stuff. Oh, and that's the wrong one. Yeah, all the emails. Let's just sign in with that one. Oh my god, I hope it's the... Once again, no talking when I type in passwords, that's never gone right. <laughs> Emma! <laughs> so I'm composing this email, I copy in this email address, I give it a name, so I am an email task because I am awesome AF. <laughs> no swearing. I'm trying really hard not to swear. And this is going to be the description. To be the description. Description. Yes. Is that a sentence? Yes. And now I'm going to send it because Gmail is really fast. Swoop. Swoop, swoop. And I go back right here and go back to my reload, probably. Just give it a few. Oh man, it worked yesterday. Maybe it just doesn't know where to put it. I'm gonna find that out now, you know. What it, oh, there it is. You see my tasks, new tasks. Um, and it's a Moni Dust Stuff task because it doesn't really know where to put it. I assume and it's still private to me so I can make that public and I can add it to a project um, so this is one way of at least sending tasks to a workspace what you could also do though is if you integrate it with Sapier um, because that's what I did with um, Trello is you can integrate it with Sapier I think I will do another live stream at the latest days time um, to explain how you could do that because you can actually uh, Sapier, is a, Sapier is a tool that will he help you uh, automate more things so what I did for example is whenever I get an email from clients um, from specific email addresses uh, it will automatically create a card in Trello and that's also possible for Asana so I'm sure you can so if you connect Trello um, uh, if you connect Asana and Sapier with each other with your gmail address for example you can um, have sapia create tasks in certain projects um, from people from a certain email addresses so um, this is um, one way how you can add tasks to your asana um, uh, projects and workspaces um, if you want 
them to be there automatically and not um, forward them manually. So that's a way. Um, that's with Sapia you can totally do that, but that will probably will take its own its very own live stream. So yeah, that's mostly how uh, Asana is set. There are of course some fancy, tiny, small things that um, uh, Moni likes. <laughs> For example, highlight a color. I will do it and make it green because green is awesome. Then try, you can um, give this one another color. So you have like everything fancy and colorful. Uh, yeah, you can export it, highlight it, and view in dashboard. You see wherever there is this batch going on, this is where you would have to upgrade. So if you have a look, um, there is like if you are built yearly, you get two months months free and it's like 625. Um, yeah, and there of course you can do a, a lot of some more stuff um, with the paid Asana compared to the free one. But yeah, just as with Trello, I haven't paid anything yet. so. It's still working really well, and there are a lot of um, tools and and um, yeah, as, um, tools and tutorials going on um, online for you to um, really dive deeper into Asana. I hope, yeah, that was a bit helpful. If there is, if you need anything else or more information, you can just. Um, drop me a message anytime. Um, if you've watched the replay and you still have questions, um, comment below or on the side now. No, this side. I, this side. <laughs> and um, yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your Saturday evening or Saturday in general when you're somewhere in the US or in Canada, like uh, a lot of people right now. <laughs> um, then have a great weekend. Join me again on the 6th of January 2018. And um, once again, a belated happy birthday to two awesome women. Yo Val, yo Julia. <laughs> I hope you celebrate it hard. <laughs> and yeah, next year we might do a, a birthday quadruple thing. Anyway, have a great rest of your Sunday. If you have any questions, if you need any tech help, just drop me a message, leave a comment below, or um, visit my website, moonyrocksyoursocks.com. There is still a freebie going on right there with uh, a lot of tools that will help you get started online. My button says hi. <laughs> and have a great rest of your day, evening, whatever. See ya next year and have a fabulous christmas time of course and uh a slow one and uh uh, uh i don't know the english word a very nice and quiet christmas not a stressful christmas that's what i'm wishing you uh so have a great evening and see you soon bye bye <laughs>